while Einstein was solving most of the difficult problems in physics and growing into higher and higher positions as a world famous scientist. His personal life was not steady. Actually, just right after her university studies, he wanted to get married with Mileva. But Einstein's mother was not agree. She was not ready to accept it. Because Einstein's mother wanted a very simple housewife as the wife of her son. But at the, sa at the same time, Mileva, whom Einstein found, was a very intelligent woman and highly educated woman. Einstein's mother understood she is not going to be there at house as supporting her son. And more than that, Mileva was three years older than Einstein too. So because of mother's disagreement, Einstein put off her his wedding for a while. And finally, after one more year, one or two years later, in 1903, the couple finally got married and had two sons. But later, problems started to, to take place because Mileva, the Einstein's wife, she doesn't want to remain as a simple housewife. So years of constant fighting between the couples. They got divorced in 1919. And Einstein married one of his cousin Elsa the same year itself. Gradually, Einstein's name and fame started to spread around the world. In 1915, he had published his general theory of relativity. It was a new interpretation on gravity. The 1919 solar eclipse was the accurate proof for Einstein's new theory. Because what he told in his theory in 1915 Exactly the same happened four years later in 1919 during the solar eclipse. So the newspapers called his new theory as a scientific revolution. Later, Einstein received even the Nobel Prize for Physics in the year 1921. He had received a lot of honors and awards from all around the world. The media everywhere had given him a hero image. Here in this paragraph we can see when Nazis came to power in Germany in 1933 because of fear of sustainment just like many other scientists Einstein also left Germany and went to America and five years later they heard the news of development of atomic bombs in different parts of the world so the scientists from America got upset because they feared or they were afraid that the Nazi Germany may develop atomic bombs and may use in the among the different world countries. So because of pressure from, from other colleagues or from other scientists, Einstein written a letter to American President Franklin D. Roosevelt on 2nd August 1939, warning or giving awareness about atomic bomb in which letter he has written that such type of a bomb can destroy the entire port 
which means a single atomic bomb can destroy an entire area within few seconds. Einstein's letter did not go in vain. The American government has taken it seriously, but in a different way. Actually, Einstein wanted to give them awareness for taking uh, precautions against Nazi attack. But what the Americans has done, they have secretly developed this technology for developing atomic bomb. And the result is in front of us. They have dropped two atomic bombs in two Japanese cities, namely Nagasaki and Hiroshima on August 1945. The destruction that caused by the atomic bomb deeply shaken Albert Einstein because he already predicted what would have been the extent of destruction if somewhere an atomic bomb explosion is take place. The same thing happened and lots of people died. So this totally shaken a man who loves peace and harmony. So once again, he has written a massive letter to the American president requesting him or proposing him for the formation of a world government on the basis of democracy and peace. But this time, unlike the first, the second letter of Einstein did not get any attention by the American government. But he was not ready to stop there. He entered into the world politics over the next decade with more strong and determined mind. He started a campaign among the world countries to stop the accumulation and development of uh, atomic weapons as well as other weapons. Stop war. Develop a world government for proposing or promoting democracy and peace all around the world. He used his name and fame for this campaign. So as a result, we can say, when Einstein died in 1955, at the age of 76, he was celebrated as a visionary. He was celebrated first of all as a visionary, means a person who could see, who can see the future. And secondly, a world citizen, because Einstein was not arguing for any single country. He was uh, arguing or supporting the uh, peace and democracy all around the world. So he has been known as, or he has been proclaimed as a world citizen, as well as we know a genius scientist or a scientific genius because he has given a lot of contributions to the world of physics and different scientific world. So this is all about Albert Einstein.